Many times your cheaper fire steels, if you get them, have a, just come along with a piece of hacksaw blade. This one was broken. It still will work. To get some spark off of here. But what we're gonna do is do something better. And this will work on any of them. First off, this is a reciprocating saw blade. This one's used. And several sets of my pliers. You'll need whatever type of pliers you happen to have or like. What I'll do with these is you can break these usually into three bits. I like the end with the hole because you can tie it to the string. Force feed it through there. And then it's secure. And I'll usually, I usually don't take too much more than the rod itself you don't need a, you don't need a great deal of, of it but you get hold of it with your pliers leaning across it and these are they're usually the spine of these things are usually softer the teeth are really hard and as you start going just bend it back and forth you'll feel it popping And you can take another pair of pliers if you like. But you weaken, what you're doing is you're working it back and forth to weaken the steel. And as it gets weaker, you'll feel it starting to give up. Putting it in a vise or something like that, there it goes, is a lot easier. Sometimes you don't have access to stuff like that. This is the easy way to do it. When you break it like that, it leaves a burr. Is exactly what you want on the end. So if you're actually striking like this, that burr is doing some hard digging. And if you have it long enough, you can use the spring of the blade to help get some of that rod off of there. This thing's like an elk ridge from Sportsman's Guide from the early 90s. And as I stated earlier, I use these, or I use this one. This thing's old, it's been used a lot. I think it was advertised like 50,000 strikes. It's hard as woodpecker lips. It was so hard it broke the hacksaw blade trying to get, get it to actually function well. But you can see if you get a good scraper on it, it does work. Broken ceramic works on it. This one, the reason I like these, the teeth on these are really hard. So in an earlier video where I was scraping it off of there, the teeth actually gets into this hard rod and mines it out pretty good. So you can sit here and get, get set up. If you have less than perfect tender, you can get it going. Put this on a leaf, whatever or not, then put a little bit of your tender ball over your little pile and then scrape it and let it burn like that. And that'll help. But this is, this is a way to make a scraper if you don't end up with a good one or buying one or whatnot. A lot of people like to make their own. I'm kind of one of them. This is one of the things I do like. But you can take these old blades and you can get it. You can break this off here again. Here again, you never actually get four of them out of a blade like this. And the only thing you might have to do is knock a hole in it or figure out a way to secure it. Or you don't even have to. You can make a little leather sheath with this in a separate pocket. It, you know, whatever whatever works for you. But the reciprocating saw blades like that are fantastic. You could actually get in. You can use this whole thing like this and get the. And I'm just getting the last bit of that rod, and it's throwing pretty good.
but if you can find if you have access to used ones they work better on these on the back of these two they're usually a bit rounded but if you take a stone to them you can square them off and then a really uh, like a burnishing tool or something along that line you can roll a burr on it and you could actually get a secondary scraper on it from here or sharpen it up with a file because the back of these aren't hard you can sharpen it up with a file to where you can actually get in a scrape again but you can see the back of this will scrape but not not as good as it would if you work on it a little bit you know, I think you could even go in, since the teeth are hard on this, you could actually take that off. There you can see where that cleaned it up. Simple stuff that a lot of people don't tend to think of, but that's an easy way to make a scraper. There's, you can buy high-end scrapers, you can buy ceramic scrapers, things along that line. Uh, I've, made them, I've made ceramic scrapers from coffee cups. I'll have to show a video on that. A broken coffee cup, you can actually flint nap that out basically into a small little scraper that works really good. A piece of flint works quite well on these. Or, obsidian. well, I don't know about obsidian. Um, I've used glass, although that's kind of iffy. Anything with an edge to take that off. Knife blade will work. I hate using knife blades because that does bad things to the edge. But... These are usually pretty cheap and in a lot of cases free if you know anybody that does any metal work whatsoever because they burn these up at a fairly regular pace. Just have them keep a couple for you and you can have a free scraper.